everyone. This is Kristen with the Queen Anne's County Library, and I'm bringing you today's take home kit, which is steampunk necklaces. Um, here is an example of one that I created um, right here. And um, basically, it's just using some um, gears and buttons and that sort of thing. So let's look inside of our, our bag and see what we have here. We should have one bag that has your gears and buttons, the keys and other types of um, steampunk type articles. And then you should have another one that has your chain and some of your jump rings um, and your clasp in there. So I'm gonna um, first start with this bag that has our gears and buttons in it. I'm gonna pour it out. And basically you're just gonna wanna look through it and kind of figure out what sort of design you wanna use with these. Um, things like this are gonna be harder because they have the, um, the buttonhole like that, so it takes up more space. It's easier to use the ones that have the holes in it, so you can run your jump rings through them. But your other option is um, to use some, you can use some tacky glue to glue things together. Um, my sample one, I actually did a little bit of both. So I have the jump rings connecting things, but I also glued some of the gears on top of each other just to give it a little bit more um, dimensions. So it's kind of your preference as far as how much um, you want to play around with jump rings and glue. Um, so I'm just going to sort through my things here and try to come up with a design. And then um, I'll put the camera so it's kind of focused down with a more of a close up look. So I've created my design here. Um, you can kind of make yours as big or as small as you want. Um, I tend to prefer smaller. Um, so my first step is going to be, you can see I have two things here that I have stacked on each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, glue them. I'm just going to use some, some tacky glue. And I'm just going to try to get it as close to the center as possible when doing this and try to make it not so messy. Or just throw it down there. And when you're gluing things on top of it, you just wanna make sure that you don't cover up any holes that you're gonna to need to use the jump ring for. So like this one's a little bit trickier because the the little spikes kind of cover up things, but I think I should be able to make it so you can get through. That is the plan at least. So while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about our, our jump rings that we have here. You should have a assortment of sizes. Um, I'm gonna attach the, the one that you wanna use for your class together for your chain and then you should have four smaller ones, and those are gonna go on the ends of that, that, and then on the ends of your chain from the other direction, so down here. And then um, your two next size up just to go, they should hopefully connect to this, your um, gears on the end. If not, if those are too small, you can use um, some of your bigger ones over here. So you should have um, three different sizes just depending on what type of gear you use and the thickness kind of depends on what size um, jump ring you'll need to use. So you'll just have to play around with it and see what works, but hopefully you should have enough of everything. If not, feel free to stop by the library, ask for me, I can help um, get you the size that you might need. And the other thing you're gonna need um, is, I use some flat nose pliers. You're also gonna need um, something that can cut the chain. So, um, I use these, but you can also use some sharp scissors because it's not too thick. They should be able to, to get that by. And um, if you do need some flat nose pliers, we have some at the library. You can come by um, and borrow. Um, just, it's a kind of a first come first serve basis for that. So I'm gonna um, just let this sit for just a few more minutes and then we'll get back to actually um, putting the jump rings on together. Okay, things are drying up. So I'm gonna get started. Uh, I'm just gonna start I think in the center and kind of work my way out. So I'm gonna try using one of my smaller jump rings to put um, my key to that um, gear. And so when you do um, your jump rings, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure you go side to side and you don't wanna pull it open. So 
I'll just go like that. Loop it through. You want it. And then put it back into shape. And so you have your first thing there. And then so you're going to want to keep doing, adding the jump rings um, as you work your way out. sides maybe for this. Um, it kind of depends. Um, some of them have four, some of them have five, um, some of them have was that six there. So just kind of need to figure out like where you want your um, center to be for them. So sometimes I find it easier to use um, two pliers rather than my fingers and um, the pliers, but it's kind of personal preference and what you have um, available to you. This one um, is a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna use a bigger jump ring for it. So as you can see, I've connected all of my um, gears and my keys together with jump rings. So that is all set. The next step is gonna be um, figuring out how long you want your chain to be. Um, so you're gonna want to, to cut it down. Obviously it's a little, it should um, hopefully be a little too long for you. So you can start um, by cutting it in half or you can try to um, figure out by measuring how long you want your um, your necklace to be and so just remember when you put this on here you're gonna have your chain but before that you're gonna have um, the smaller one that goes on the end of the chain and then attached to the the larger jump ring that you had put aside so it'll look like that so that will add just a little bit of space onto your chain so when you're doing your measurements um, you want to take that into consideration so I wanted um, a shorter necklace, so I cut mine, my chain um, pretty short, I guess, um, just so, so it goes like around my, um, my collarbone. So I'm gonna start first with going from, from either of these ends. So I'm gonna take this, this one, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna put it through the end. And then I'm going to loop the smaller one on it. And then I'll close it up. And then I'm going to take this end and open that one up. And I'll put the end of the chain through it. And this is always the tricky part because it's pretty small. It should go through eventually. And then I'll close that up. So we have one side attached. And we'll just do the same thing for the other side. So once you have um, both chains attached, you can always check it to see if it is exactly um, where you want it placed before you. You add more um, the parts to the end. Um, if you're satisfied, you can carry on. Otherwise, you can um, cut some off if you need to. Obviously, it's better to start larger than smaller just in case. Um, you do need to, to take some stuff off. It's easier to do that than to add back on. Um, so the next step is going to be, let me just move this down a little bit so you can see the end of the chain. So I prefer to have um, my, my hook on this side. So I'm just gonna take that off right now. And so basically you're gonna wanna take 
your last of the smaller jump rings and open that up and put it on the end of the chain. Find the end of the chain. And then you're going to loop it through your clasped hole and close that up. And then you're going to do a similar thing with the other side, only you're going to use uh, extra jump ring at the end. And then once you have that on, it should be um, all set and ready to be worn. Of course, you want to try it just to make sure it is exactly where you want it um, and then just adjust as necessary. Thank you for joining us today as we created some steampunk necklaces. Um, I can't wait to see the results of um, what you created because I know each one is going to be unique to its creator. Feel free to send pictures of your necklaces to info at qaclibrary.org. We always love to see what you have created from our take home kits. Um, and hopefully you'll join us for our next kit. See you then. Bye.